yeah, so as you know, I go ice skating and I thought it was about time I did a what's in my skate bag video. Um, so it's just going to be a really short, quick show and tell. Um, so the story of this is I got my skates for my 20th birthday um, and I got the bag, the blade covers and the actual skates and then the rest I kind of just compiled myself. So one thing that I always have is lip balm in my bag, you're obviously you're in the cold, you're skating and when I'm nervous um, to try like a new trick or something I tend to bite my lips or lick my lips a lot so <laughs> lip balm is always necessary for me. So after you skate it's always um, wise to dry your blades out before putting the covers back on them um, and putting them back in the bag. That's just because you don't want them to rust. So I use this cloth to kind of dry my blades and make sure that it's all good. Sometimes I'll do it really quickly when I'm at the rink and then when I get home I'll take my skates out, do them again and I'll leave the skates out of the bag. Um, and that's just if I've had a really long session and um, I don't want to be putting kind of moist skates back into the bag. Then I have a plastic bag, that's if it, anything gets wet, so if I've fallen over or something and I've got a bit like a wet leggings or something like that, I will put them in the bag. And then I also have a pair of spare socks. Sometimes if I'm running late or I'm doing multiple things in the day, I will put my skating socks on um, and actually arrive at the rink with the socks on and everything. So by the time I'm done, I sometimes I don't want to stay in like sweaty socks, um, so I'll change into these. And then that's that section. And then here we have my actual skates. So as you can see, even though I've had them a year now, they are still very clean because they are my babies and I look after them a lot. And yeah, so because my feet are quite small, these are actually juniors. So they saved a bit of money kind of having smaller feet, uh, which was good. I'm a beginner, so I also, I didn't need, um, if you can see on the toe picks, I've only got six toe picks. Other people, um, they have, they come higher up if you're jumping more, and um, but you have the normal kind of blades with the two edges on either side, and then I got these blade covers, and um, I really want to get some of the really fun like fairy animal ones, um, but for now these are kind of like good enough. Um, and yeah, so it's quite fun just to be able to have these. Um, I'm quite bad when it comes to my blades, so you're supposed to really not walk around just on your blades and that's what you use these for, to make sure you're not walking directly on the blades when you're off ice. But I get quite lazy and it takes me far too long to put these on and off. Um, I see people doing little trick videos where they have one um, blade covered when they're trying to do a trick on the ice to stop them putting the other foot down and I just couldn't do that myself. Um, so obviously we have skates in an ice skating bag, shocker. And then we come to my skating socks. So these are just basic um, black skating socks, plain. Um. So for me it's become quite a tradition to wear these socks. Um, I feel like I've broken in the boot wearing these socks and if I wore any other pair now I, I wouldn't be able to skate so I have to wear these socks. And then if I'm quite cold, I have these kind of thicker woolly gloves, but I also have um, my kind of lighter ones here, um, which are like more waterproof ones. And then I've also got this headband as well, which I sometimes wear if the rink is like a bit chillier. Usually if there's not a lot of people or if I go like first thing in the morning, it can be quite cold. And um, so that's just like something I like to have in there. And then 
So what I do with my skates, if after I've skated, I will take them out of the bag and sometimes I use like a dryer sheet and I put a dryer sheet inside my skates and I just feel like that helps keep the skates nice and fresh. It also means when I put them in the bag, the bag's not going to start really smelling of sweat and things like that. Um, so you do have like many options for different bags. I liked this one because of all like the little pockets and sections it gave me and then there's like a pocket inside here as well so there's a lot of things that you can have in them um, but I really liked this and it's also special for me because it's like my first skate bag, my first pair of skates and um, so everything about it I just love and I really feel like quite professional when I'm walking along um, with my skate bag as well so it was just nice to have rather than like chucking my skates into a backpack that kind of thing and um, what I do sometimes uh, bring with me is kind of like pen and paper to write down any feedback that I've had from if I've had a lesson um, but I tend to all compile that on my phone now instead um, just because I like to take videos of stuff when I'm on the rink on my phone and it's just handy because I've got that in my pocket with me so I hope you enjoyed that little what's in my skate bag video. If you have any questions about the boot itself, how to decide on your right boot, I might do a video on that soon. So if this video gets 150 likes, I will film that video for you. And I hope you all have a good time. And if you have any questions about ice skating whatsoever, message me.